Thanks for watching and if you want to see an absolutely stunning math result, this video is for you because today we'll calculate the second derivative of the gamma function at 1. So be prepared to be amazed. And I would like to remind you what is the gamma function? Well, that's a generalization of the factorial and more precisely that's the integral from 0 to infinity of t to the z minus 1 e of minus t dt. And by the way, I want to mention in passing, what is the derivative of gamma at 1? Well, to differentiate the gamma function, here z is in the exponent, so use this exponent rule for derivatives. So this is integral from 0 to infinity of ln of t, t to the z minus 1, e of minus t dt, and so the derivative at 1 that is integral from 0 to infinity of, you plug in z equals 1, so this becomes 1, and you get ln of t, e of minus t dt. And I wanted to make a video on this, but the funny thing is I already made one, and I don't even remember. But if you see this integral, I have calculated this at some point a couple of years ago, and you find minus the euler mascheroni constant. In fact, we will need this little fact soon. But this one is even more amazing because of the result, but also the approach is slightly different because for this we have to use the polygamma function. Wow. And you'll see for gamma double prime of 1, it's quite interesting because the approach is very different. We won't really use integrals here. Instead, we'll use what's called the polygamma function which is kind of a logarithmic derivative. So the poly gamma fun function of order n is just the nth derivative of gamma prime of z over gamma of z. And because we need gamma double prime, which arises from differentiating this once, we consider the poly gamma function of order 1. So that's just gamma prime of z over gamma of z prime. And I'll just use the quotient rule. So this gives you gamma double prime of z times gamma of z minus gamma prime times gamma prime. So gamma prime of z squared over gamma of z squared. And now you just have to plug in z equals 1 because that's ultimately what we need. So gamma 1 of 1, that is gamma double prime of 1 times gamma of 1, which is 0 factorial, so it's just 1. And now gamma prime, we just calculated this to be minus um, Euler Mascheroni, so minus, la minus gamma, so minus gamma squared. And then again, gamma 1 which is again 0 factorial squared. And what you end up getting is what we want, gamma double prime of 1 minus Euler Mascheroni squared. So really the only thing that's left to do is calculate the poly gamma function of order 1. Add 1 and for this we need another formula. So it turns out, here's an okay, unproven fact, um, the polygamma function of order n at z is some constant depending on n times some kind of a Riemann zeta function. And in fact, this is what's called the Hurwitz zeta function. So whatever this zeta is of what's called n plus 1 z. And I believe the way you get it is by writing the polygamma function as an integral, so this does equal to the integral from 0 to 1, minus integral 0 to 1 of t to the z minus 1 over 1 minus t times ln of t to the n dt. And then I think you, you just use some formulas from number theory that um, go kind of above my head. 
But the nice thing is this formula is enough to conclude because again, all we want to do, we want to plug in z equals 1 and n equals 1. So gamma 1, psi 1, 1, that becomes so minus 1 squared, so 1, and then 1 factorial, which is 1. And the sum from m from 0 to infinity of 1 over m plus 1 squared. But look, what is this? It's 1 over 1 squared plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared. So the 2 series, and then you just get pi squared over 6. And how does that help us conclude? Well, welcome to the epic finale. Well, what did we have? We had the polygamma function. Order 1 at 1 is the second derivative of gamma at 1 minus Again, Euler Mascheroni squared, but you just found that to be pi squared over 6. So we get the following. And finally, an absolutely stunning formula, in my opinion, we get that the second derivative of gamma is 1 is just, again, 2 series plus Euler Mascheroni squared. Wow! I mean, they say the most beautiful formula is ei pi equals minus 1, but I mean this comes close second I would say, yeah. So who would have thought that again the 2 series appears and the Euler Mascheroni? I mean really the gamma function is something quite mysterious I must say. Alright, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.